Hello everyone and welcome back to White Knowledge. Today's video is going to be very interesting because I am going to show you how to integrate Grasteam newly launched ST801 with Grasteam UCM PVX. So I have Grasteam UCM PVX and ST801. So ST801 has 4 FX supports and 1 FX support. Similarly, it has 2 network ports, one with POE input and built in net router. So I'm going to log in UCM and ST841 and I have as well a document from Grass Team which is manual and on this document you can see the default FX support is set to 6060 and we have to modify it to 5058 because if you use the default port for SIP trunk configuration in UCM it will not be registered similarly we have to modify FXS port which is by default 5060 and we have to modify it to 6060 so I am going to modify first FXS port from 5060 to 6060 After modifying, I will go to the FXO profile 1. As you can see, I have modified the port of FXS profile. Now, I am going into the FXO profile 1. And I am changing the local SIP port to 5058 as per the document. Now, I am going to apply it after the changes. I am going into the UCM and web trunk option, adding a peer SIP trunk and giving a name as st 801 Now I am typing the IP address 192.168.3.117 and leaving it as it is because the default SIP port is now 5060 for FXO profile. After saving, I am going back to again and enabling heartbeat detection now i am applying changes once it applies we'll wait for a few seconds so now i am checking the status of sip trunk now you can see it is reachable and now i'm creating the rule for outgoing from UCM to ST841 side. So I'm giving a pattern X dot which means allowed anything and we can set privilege level or filter on source color ID. So I'm enabling it and selecting all the extension. Now in the trunk option we have to select SIP trunk ST841 and similarly I'm creating an inbound rule the call from ST841 So I'm giving the pattern similar to outbound which is x dot x dot is apply for receive calls from any numbers or to any DID. We can set the destination as extension or IVR. So for testing purpose I am setting it to IVR and setting the apply changes. The configuration in the UCM side is done. Now I am going into the FXO profile 1 and I am setting the primary SIP server as UCM IP address which is 192.168.1.253. You can see here. After that we have to disable SIP registration and set it to no. Now going down and we have to modify some few more changes in FXO profile. Now we have to set number of rings to 2 or you can set as per your settings. Now the second option PS10 ring through FXS. We have to set it to no and 
वेट फॉर डायल टोन सेट टू बी नो एंड स्टेज मैथड सेट टू बी वन इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इफ यू आर डूइंग पीयर मोड कंफिग्रेशन विद एस टी एट फोर वन द स्टेज मैथड शुड बी सेट टू वन एंड वेट फॉर डायल टोन शुड बी सेट टू नो सो आई एम अप्लाइंग and now i'm going on the ports option so you can see here fx support profile and fx support profile so first option is registration mode if we use fx in registration mode we have to set user id and authentication id but we are using in peer mode so we are just giving off hook unconditional call forward to wipe that means the call from fx01 will ring to the 901 DID and same way the second port DID will ring to the 902 and I have given the SIP server as the UCM IP and SIP destination port UCM default SIP port. Now the configuration in FXO device is done and we will now you can see FXO one is connected to the trunk and it is showing idle. now we can check the incoming call as we have already done everything in ucm and st841 and the trunk state is showing reachable that means everything is okay now we have to test the calls so i am going to make an incoming call and checking the active calls for time being i have set internal extension on the st841 fx support as a fxs extension of pbx to the fxo and lend it to the ucm so you can see the call is connected on the fxo one port and it is showing in use and you can see here call so as we have set the destination to ivr the call is now connected to the ivr destination so here we have done the configuration and same way you can configure your st841 or st881 with ucm pbx and remember to change the port so thank you for watching this video please do like comment and if you like the video please subscribe my channel